I'm going over one of Paris's famous bridges. It's called Pont du Carousel. So I guess there's a merry-go-round around here somewhere. Um, I don't see it. Maybe it used to be here. We'll see. Yeah, there's so much I want to do. I haven't walked any of the bridges. Uh, wow. Well, it's just not enough time. I had things to do today. I want to mail a postcard and return the effective merchandise and something else I had to do. What was it? I, I don't remember. But, um, yeah, so... And so it goes. Oh, I didn't walk on the side of the river either. I gotta do that. Um, yeah, it's not enough time. I would advise anyone coming to Paris, you know, at least one week. At least one full week to get a taste of it. There's so much to see, so much to do. Yesterday, I just walked because the Louvre is closed on Tuesday. I thought it was closed on Monday. So I walked and it was beautiful, but uh, now I have to choose between the Louvre and the Orsay because they moved my train ticket up and I'm leaving a lot earlier and so I have to choose. I know the Louvre is more popular, but it doesn't have the impressionist that I want to see. So, and I did go to the Louvre many years ago and uh, I guess I won't be able to say hi to Mona today in person. I don't know. Maybe I'm making a wrong choice. Oh, if only I could just stay one more day and see both museums. So that's what I advise you to do. All right. And I'm on my way to the Orsay. When I came before, the Impressionists had been loaned out to some museum in Japan. I was so mad. <laughs> I wanted my money back. <laughs> but I stayed anyway. <laughs> um, it's a much smaller museum. It's less crowded. It's more manageable. Although the Louvre is, is not crowded today either. I got on the line and then I said, no, I really want to see the Impressionist. Oh, look at the boat going by. Yay! Let's see if I can get anybody to wave. Come on, somebody wave. Wait for the camera! <gasps> Unfriendly people, not one more wave. What kind of party people are you? They're here on vacation, they're so solemn. They can't put up their hand on the way. All right. I believe in jumping into life feet first and having as much fun as possible. There we go, there's another boat. I think they call it bateau mouché, the boat. Anyway, when you come to Paris, if you want to make a hit, say bonjour ne. That means have a nice day. And in the evening, you say bon soirée. And always start every conversation with je désolé, non pour la français. I'm sorry, I don't speak French. And then end it the way I said. And you'll find that the people in Paris are pretty nice if you do that. Okay? There's a few stick in the muds. The lady who's at the desk at my hotel, she's a nightmare. She's awful. She's mean. If you ask her anything, she makes that face. Um, the hotel I'm staying at, the Du Jura. It's very good for the price. My only complaint is the outlets are not, not enough outlets for, to plug your stuff in. And also, the... Uh, the lady that works, she's actually the owner, part owner. And uh, if I'm asked to give a review, she will not be reported on favorably. <laughs> Let's put it like that. <laughs> I asked for the password for my computer. She told me, come back like uh, in a, uh, one or two hours. I'm like, I can't, I have to look up stuff now to go out. And there was no hot water since last night. And when I asked about that, she said, it'll be up soon. I wait two hours, still not up. I asked the housekeepers. She came running up the stairs. She didn't want me to talk to the housekeepers. She said, I'm talking too loud. It's 11 in the morning. I'm talking in a normal voice. So that's the only problem with the du jour. But it's a good hotel as far as you get a nice size room with a private bathroom. So you got to weigh these things out. Okay, when I find the museum, I will um, maybe check back in. I'm sure I will.
Bye. Oh my goodness, I thought I had stopped this. It's on pause the whole time. This is what uses up your battery. Anyway, this is one of the most beautiful restaurants I've ever seen in my life. It reminds me of Versailles. Gorgeous, gorgeous chandeliers. And the artwork, it's just like a mini Versailles. And I was hoping maybe I could get to eat here this evening, but they don't serve dinner this evening because the museum closes at six. So, tis not to be, but it's out of my budget actually, so just as well, but it's so beautiful. They have a cafeteria on the fifth floor, and I wanna go see the impressionist, and then we have a glass of wine. Uh, the main thing I came for is the impression is because the last time I was here, like I said, they loaned it out to Japan. <laughs> if I had seen it, I would go to the Louvre today, but I am determined not to leave Paris without seeing this exhibit. All right, I guess I went to get on the elevator, but it doesn't go up to the fifth floor, so I guess I'll hop to it there. Where am I now? I think I'm on the third floor. I think I'm on the third floor. We'll see. Je voudrais, that's it. the extent of the French I know. I want to go, I want to go to the fifth floor. Floor catcher. <laughs> that's it. It's very limited. You know, even less French than I do Italian. Okay, so this is the, good, I found an escalator. And, uh, Oh, this used to be a, a train station, and I think they were going to demolish it, but someone had the brilliant idea of turning the train station into a museum. Isn't that smart? So, um, it's a really good idea, and I recommend anyone to come here and the Louvre. If you only can go to one, go to the Louvre. But, if you like impressions, you must come here. Thank you.